Hi everybody, if you're running out of room on your MacBook and you're thinking about upgrading your hard drive, then this video will help you out. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your hard drive and in this case, I'm going to use a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which will be give you plenty of room actually on your machine and the drive goes for about $129. Remember to visit rmstech.com where you will find all the links to where you can get this drive and just follow the next few minutes. It's an easy to do uh, upgrade and you can do it yourself. Thank you. I appreciate you for watching. All right, first you're going to need a few things and you're going to need a quarter, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, also you're going to need obviously the hard drive uh, that you're going to put. The Phillips screwdriver has to be a small one so you can actually open the screws and here I have the 500 gig drive that we're going to put. This is a 2.5 SATA drive which is exactly the same size and type of connection that your MacBook has inside. Um, as you can see here on the screen, I don't know if you can see it really good but it's a 500 gig drive this drive goes for about $129 so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the machine and uh, you're gonna get a towel that you can use so that you won't scratch the machine so we're gonna go ahead and put the towel in place since we got to turn it upside down and place that the unit turn it around and that now you have the battery facing you and also the unlock uh, part of it so you're gonna grab the quarter and with the quarter you're going to turn this part right here where it's from lock to unlock and just go ahead and uh, put the quarter in that slot you can use a big screwdriver but definitely a quarter makes it easy the battery will pop up on one corner once you do this so just grab the battery take it out and now you can go ahead and, and remove the screws that you're going to need there are three screws that you're going to need to remove inside here and they're located right in the back here let me show you a closer view of the screws. It is easy to take out. Just go ahead and grab the Phillips screwdriver and you can go ahead and uh, remove them. Once you grab these three uh, screws out, you know, they, they don't come out completely. They do stay attached to the metal bracket that you're going to see. It's an actual bracket that is right here. So just take out the three screws. Once you take them out, the bracket should pop out. If not, just grab it with your finger, you can pop it out. But in this case, this bracket does pop out. Just pull it out gently. Right behind it is where the memory uh, is stored. So you can always also upgrade your, your RAM on your computer uh, using this step right here. But take out the bracket. And once you do that, now we're ready to take out the hard drive. Now you're going to find here a little ribbon that's tucked away. Just grab the little ribbon with a screwdriver, pull it out and now you can pull out the hard drive. Just pull it out of the unit right there and you're gonna find four screws. As you can see here in the front, it's actually a SATA connection. I just wanna show you that real quick. And that the new drive we're gonna put is identical as the one that it's in the machine already. So they're both SATA drives. Let me show you the screws real quick. The screws are torque screws. Uh, I got these out with a little flat head screwdriver so you can actually use that to get them out. Uh, let me see if I can show you here on the screen really good so you can see the screws. But you need to remove those four screws in order to get the drive out. Uh, remember the way it's uh, put back in there. As you can see here, the torques, you can see it better on the screen. Uh, but like I said, if you don't have this torque screw, then you can go ahead, uh, screwdriver, then you just go ahead and use a little flat head screwdriver. Alrighty, once you're done, then you go ahead and, and fold all the, over the ribbon so it stays under the drive and that way you can put it back the same way it was before. Just slide it on the cage here and just put it in there. You'll feel it when you slide it in that if it went in correctly, it will lock in place. So just go ahead and slide it in. in. Once it's locked, you're ready to put the, uh, the latch back on together. 
Uh, I want to just show you that here you can also upgrade the RAM on the computer and it's just a simple process to do. Uh, go ahead and put the uh, latch back on the unit and just go ahead and put it back in place. It might take you a little bit to play with it till you get it in there but uh, just take your time once you get it in there go ahead and uh, put it in and get the screwdriver the little uh, Phillips screwdriver to put the screws back in place. Be careful not to over tighten the screws uh, because you could damage the uh, the thread on it. So I've seen that happen on this particular one. There is one screw that it's already uh, kind of damaged, which is the one I'm tightening there at the end. And that's pretty much it. Once you have that ready to go, you can go ahead and put your battery back in place and uh, just slide it in on one corner and uh, go ahead and grab it, put it in. And you can use the quarter, remember, to lock it back in place. So you are going to need that quarter again. You can hold it down while you lock it in place because it's the battery stays up already, so it's not going to let you lock it. You're actually going to have to hold down the battery. So hold it down, then lock it. Once you lock it, you'll see it's nice and flush. It won't stick out anymore. And that's it. You're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to show you in the next few minutes. Uh, real quick how to actually um, install the Mac OS 10 and in this case you're done you're ready to flip this thing over and uh, ready to install the Mac OS 10 go ahead and put your Mac OS 10 disk inside the, uh, the computer itself and I'll show you ready how to actually format this drive to get it ready to go with your uh, operating system so here we are at the main screen and you're gonna go uh, you're gonna see that it doesn't show you a drive so you're gonna go to utilities on the top and when you click on utilities, you're going to go to disk utility. And that's going to bring you up a screen where it will show you the drive. And you're going to go ahead and as you can see here, you click on the drive. And just go over to partition. And you're going to choose where it says current. You're going to choose right there, one partition. So you click one partition. It's ready to go. On the right where it says name, you can name it whatever you want so that it's ready to go and uh, name it something that you, you like to be actually able to refer to the drive as. But um, once you do that, it's now ready to go and it's ready to partition the drive. So go ahead and click on partition on the right. Click partition again on the pop-up that comes up and your drive will be partitioned uh, in about, I don't know, about 30 seconds or so. And you can see there's a, a little bar that tells you that it's being partitioned. And now you're ready to go. Once you, once you exit the utility, just click on the little X on the left hand side, exit out of it. And uh, once it comes back up, now it will show you the drive that is available for installation. So you're ready to go. You can continue from here and do your whole installation. And then you can use Bootcamp if you want later on to actually um, install Windows XP or Windows Vista if you like. I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.